Hey guys, it's Cass and AJ, and as you can tell, I'm Cass. In today's video, I'm going to be showing this crochet cardigan I've been working on for about two days now. I have all the squares crocheted and the cuffs I just have to figure out the layout I was originally going to do like a stripe where it's like a dark blue then a light blue and then white at the bottom but as I was thinking about it I don't know if I want it because I don't really wear stripes I know that sounds stupid because I'm wearing stripes right now I just caught this yesterday and it was because there was this style or like this style whatever like with the zip um but there was this color pattern whatever and then there was a plain white one and i tried on both and surprisingly this one looked way better with my skin tone and just everything really this color looked way better than the white did on me it was more flattering so ignore the fact i'm wearing stripes right now <laughs> i normally don't wear stripes so um so yeah you guys get to watch me plan how i'm gonna sew this cardigan together and you know, I'm going to try to show the process a bit. You probably won't really see me sewing it. Um, just because, like, that video would take up so much space on my phone. And even though I could speed it up, I don't have enough, like, space to record that. So, we're just going to skip over that. But anyways, you're going to see the whole process of me putting this um, cardigan together. And then, at the end of the video, as long as everything goes well, you'll see me wearing it. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this layout, but I need to crochet one more um, dark blue square because it says to do 27 panels, or 27 squares for the panel pieces, which is what this is. This is my front, that's the back of the cardigan. So I did 27 and I split it up, you know, nine squares each because, um, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Um, but that was also when I was planning on doing a stripe pattern. So I'm going to go cro crochet um, another dark blue small square. And I also realized I only have two giant white squares and I need four for the sleeves. Because there's supposed to be four squares per sleeve and I only have a total of six. So I'm going to go do that. And when I come back to the video, I will have all the panels sewn together and then I'll show you guys what the next process is. Okay, so it's a whole new day. I spent all of yesterday and last night sewing all the panel pieces together. I also sewed all the squares for the sleeves and attached them. And today I attached the cuffs, like the wrist cuffs on it as well. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what it looks like right now and what the next steps are to finish up this cardigan okay so as you can tell like there's the back panel these are your front pieces and then the sleeves and then like i said i also um sewed on this cuff so now the next step is to fold this in half and sew the seams uh here and a cuff around the bottom of the entire cardigan as well as like a little crocheted uh, neckline for buttonholes and buttons and then the cardigan is finished. So let me just put you guys down real quick and I'll show you basically what it's going to look like when it's uh, folded in half and sewn together. So this is what we're going for. I'm going to sew up this seam here and down the sleeve and the cuff. That way that's all connected. Same on this side. And then like I said, there is going to be a cuff on the bottom here that matches the sleeves. And then I'm going to crochet with white yarn up along here to kind of make like the neckline um, separate the body a bit. And I'm gonna have uh, buttonholes. I'm thinking like three buttons max, but there's gonna be buttonholes with some buttons. Um, now I just have to find the button bag and get that done. So yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna find the buttons and I'm going to finish up the rest of my sewing, do the finishing touches, 
and the next clip will be me wearing this cardigan and deciding if this is the right size because I did try it on with the way it is right now and kind of held the cuffs together the cuffs are the perfect size but I think I made it a little big I'm used to wearing extra large clothes but within the last like year I've lost weight unintentionally and I haven't quite adjusted to the, like, I still think that I am an extra large. So I haven't quite adjusted to the fact that I fit in large clothes. So I made this as an extra large because I wanted it to be pretty baggy. Um, so yeah, when I try it on, that'll kind of help me determine if it's the right size for me. And if not, then I'm just going to gift it to my mom and make myself uh, one size smaller. So we will see what happens by the end of this video. Okay, so finally finished it. I changed into a more appropriate shirt because the shirt I was wearing to me just didn't look good. Um, I am wearing like pink velvet shorts, so ignore that when I put this on. It's probably not gonna look that great with the cardigan. So I finished the cardigan. It is here. It is very nice. The only problem is I crocheted the wrist cuffs and the like bottom cuff of the cardigan last night or two days ago, whatever. Um, and I had measured the bottom cuff to like my waist, my hips, whatever, where I wanted the cardigan to sit. And I didn't factor in the cardigan was gonna be to, like two to three times bigger than the actual cuff that I was making because I wanted the cuff to be tighter around the skin and the cardigan to be looser. So it was like a, kind of like a little puff when you did it up, which sounded cute in my head, but I didn't factor in that when you sew the cuff onto the cardigan, it would make that line very, very tight, which would then make the cuff not so stretchy because I did it with a stretchy stitch and I didn't do what I needed it to. So I am going to be giving this to my mom as a very late Mother's Day gift. Um, I had her try it on and everything and it fits her great. So I'm going to give this to my mom. I think I'm going to retry this, maybe different colors. I haven't really decided. I like the blue, but I don't know if it's for me. Um, so I am going to try it on because the actual cardigan itself like fits me. It's just, I can't do it up. And that was part of the whole thing that I wanted. So this is our finished product that is like flipped. It's very cute. But yeah, this, like, as you can see with the sewing here, it kind of made it a little ruffled, which whatever, I think that's cute. It's fine. Um, but it wasn't what I was going for for myself. My mom loved it and it fits her perfect. So, like I said, I'm going to be giving this to her. I'm not keeping it, but I do plan on making myself one um, probably at a later date because my shoulders hurt from all the crocheting and sewing I've done in the span of three days. Um, so, I will make myself one, maybe in different colors, maybe in matching ones. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I will try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, this cardigan, there was a photo I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute. I will um, put it on the screen here, off to the side here while I'm talking. Um, there was a cardigan on Pinterest that I thought was really, really cute. You can find it on Pinterest. Um, her pattern is free. So if you are looking to make a cardigan, not like this, this is just an inspiration. Anyways, so if you're looking to make a cardigan like this one here, you can go on Pinterest and find it. Um, her pattern is free. I didn't follow her pattern, just so you guys know. So the fact that this doesn't fit properly for me, not her fault. I did not follow her pattern. I simply saw the picture of her cardigan and went, that's cute. I want to make something like that and use that as an inspiration photo. Now the extra large, like it comes down pretty far, I guess. Um, but like I said, like this, I can't do it up <laughs> at all. Here I can. But the bottom, like that looks really dumb. That is something I now realize that the cuff is something I'll have to make after the whole cardigan's put together. Then do that because it doesn't fit the way I wanted to. I definitely could have done better. That's my own fault, not the creators. But overall, like I feel like the size is pretty good for me. Like an extra large. But I mean, maybe a large wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I'm debating if I should make a large instead of an extra large. Um, this is what the sleeve looks like if I actually extend it but my little hand does not come through there. So I might make myself a large instead of an extra large. I think this is just a little, a little bulky for me. I haven't really decided. I might make a large and if that one doesn't fit, then I'll just give it to my brother's girlfriend because I know she'll probably like it anyways. 
So whatever, I don't mind giving my stuff away to people. But this is the cardigan. It's very cute. It's something I would definitely wear. Um, but like I said, unfortunately this does not fit me properly. I can't do it up like I wanted. So I am going to be passing it on to my mom. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I am probably going to make myself one and I'll probably document that as well. Um, just so I can kind of compare like what fits better, extra large or large kind of thing. Um, so finished cardigan. It was lots of fun to make. Again, I did not follow her pattern. So the fact that this does not fit me was completely my own error, not the um, pattern creator's error. So please do not be afraid to try that pattern. I did not follow her pattern, but I'm sure it was fantastic and I probably should have followed it and I wouldn't have run into any issues, but I did. I'm very stubborn. I like to do things myself instead of, you know, other people's creations. I know patterns are out there for people to do, but I'm just, I normally look at Pinterest for inspiration and then I make my own version of it. I never actually follow instructions. I hate following instructions. So bit me in the butt, but it's fine. It's still cute. I am going to give it to my mom. Um, she did really like it and she loves these colors anyway. So it kind of worked out in my favor regardless. Um, so yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time we post and I will see you next Wednesday. Like. Oh,